heard so much about you not being motivated anymore and such. So I guess my question to you is, why did you take so long then to come back if there was no motivation, motivational issues? Well, the first setback was obviously COVID, right? Yeah. And honestly, in retrospect, there was one option I could have took, but it just wasn't exciting. After, after fighting Manny Pacquiao, my first pay-per-view event, the, all the electric energy coming from the fans, they offered me a fight in studio with no fans. And this was, this was when the start of boxing was starting to come back. So I could have been right there, but something in me, my comfort level, my desire for great fights, it just didn't feel ideal. And when I said no to that opportunity, time went by, tick tock, tick tock. And I, I didn't hear uh, any real good opportunities for a while. Now, this time frame was not ideal. We were trying to get back in the ring on the last quarter of last year. But when I went to Las Vegas to go work the Manny Pacquiao fight, I came home with COVID myself. So I was quarantined for two weeks. I didn't feel great in the gym until after three weeks. And then slowly but surely, when we called up our manager and we said, hey, let's get this fight date. He said, look, champ, we were trying to get you ready. That sickness puts you back. We got to throw you into possibly January you know, and, and you got to work with us. And I, I said, I understand, you know, it is what it is. And there was rumors January 29th, it got pushed back one more week, February 5th. And we are where we are today. You can't look at yesterday. You can't look at the past. We live in the moment and the moment is now. So now I'm returning. Now I'm excited. Now I hope you're excited. And now the Walterway division is once again going to have to, <laughs> Remember who Keith One Time Thurman is. And that's where we're at right now, my man. Oh, man. Awesome, awesome. You said in a recent interview, and it caught my eye because uh, you said that you spent a lot of time meditating, prioritizing different things. What exactly were you referring to in, 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 in the meditation? In, in what were, were you thinking about the retirement? Was that even part of, of, no. of, I don't know, was that because you were probably frustrated at the moment? What, what was going through your mind no. during that time? No, I, when I think of retirement, I just think what age it's going to be. And it's not 33. I can guarantee that. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you know, when I'm meditating, I'm centering myself. There are so many times in life where you don't get what you want. So how do you live with being in a situation that you don't want? Center yourself. Have faith that the universe has been guiding you since the day you were born. My life story is unique, just like your life story. But starting boxing from the age of seven, being one step away from being an Olympian back in the 08 games, being able to turn pro at the age of 19, becoming a world champion, not one time, even though that's my name, We became world champion two times and we're on the path to become champion again. That's three times. The journey's not over. So when I meditate, I just try to have faith, try to have faith that as long as I'm here, as long as I'm mentally prepared, something, God willing, doors will open. And, I, and not on my time, because Lord knows this did not happen on my time. There's, there's a universal timing for everything. And all that matters is when the timing comes that you're prepared to walk through and capture the moment. For me, it's February 5th, getting back in action. And I'm truly looking forward to it, showcasing my skills and talents once again up against my opponent, Mario Barrios, who is also doing his best to capture the moment that is right now. So for me, meditation is centering myself and being ready for whatever life throws at me. Now, I know that you, you said it specifically that you don't want to look back, but then I have this urge to ask you about Manny Pacquiao. 
Do you feel that you should have done something different? Do you feel that you should have gone in a different route? 101 things. 101 things. And you can pick one or two and the fight would have went a different way. Okay. So I've had two and a half years to reflect on, on, on that downfall. You know, I, my weight management back in 2019 was not that of a professional athlete. I had to lose 35 pounds. You know, I started my training camp at 182 pounds. I fight at 147 pounds. Do the math. It's 35 pounds. I had 11 weeks to learn to lose 35 pounds and to fight a legendary fighter. Was that an ideal situation? No. Did anybody put me in that situation? No. I put myself in that situation. That was unprofessional of me. So we've learned from that. We've grown from that. My wife just came to America. I'm not using her as an excuse, but there was many things on my mind, many things on my plate, you know, um, my, my left hand was not ideal. I knew I was competing injured. But could Keith Thurman say no to a Manny Pacquiao fight? No, I can't say no. I don't know how to say no. The warrior in me can't turn down a once in a lifetime opportunity, you know? So we can look back at so many things. Could I, could I have studied a little bit more tape? Could I have collaborated a better game plan? There's so many things that could have been done, coulda, woulda, shoulda, in the fight with everything that I just brought up. Keith Thurman could have thrown 15 more punches in any given round that I, any given round that I lost mm. and I would have won the fight. I lost the fight by a split decision and the last judge gave it to him on one point. It's like LeBron James losing game seven on a buzzer shot. Woo! It's up in the air. It's up in the air. It hits the rim and it doesn't go in. What do you do, LeBron? How do you fix that, LeBron? What happens when you look back at that, LeBron? You know what I'm saying? There's, you know, first off, you don't want to make it to game seven. So first off, I shouldn't have left it up to the judges. But in training camp, did I truly prepare to knock out Manny Pacquiao when my, when my left hand was injured? No. No, I didn't. And I know that. So... To not, to not give you the list of 101 different things, there's many things that could have manifested to get the result that I wanted. But for me, what, what matters the most is that I take all of these things into consideration. I focus my mind. I focus my willpower and my determination and that I execute on what needs to be done from me as a professional athlete to perform better in my future events. Now, you got a, a big fight coming up. It's been two years and a half. Let's be realistic here. There, there's got to be some rustiness, you know, going back into the gym uh, uh, to fight. It doesn't matter how well you prepare, but I mean, there's going to be some maybe lagging off at the beginning of this fight with Mario. Do, he's a dangerous opponent, and, and we can see what he did with Gervonta Davis. I mean, he gave him a run. He gave him a... a You give him a tough fight. So do, do you consider that before fighting Mario, maybe getting somebody else to get you up to speed and then take him onto bigger fights? I just love great fights. I love great challenges. I can't get off the couch and get in the gym and put my heart in it if I'm not stepping into the fire. I, I need danger. It, it keeps us alive, you know? So... You know, I know a lot of people think ring rust, blah, 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 but I haven't really been out of the ring. I've been out of the ring in TV. I've been out of performances. I haven't performed in a long time, but, you know, we've trained in and out of the gym and with COVID, you know, uh, my body is actually moving a lot better than it was back in 2019. Um, I think I'm going to surprise people who have that perspective on how rusty is Keith Thurman. I don't know if I'm going to show a lot of ring rust, um, you know, in the opening rounds. If Mario Barrios is really that much of a threat, he has to prove that to me. And I'm going to learn round by round. But 
he better not make any mistakes. You know, um, I got way more experience as a professional fighter. I've been in the ring with way more world-class fighters and opposition than he has on my resume. And I believe that I'm going to be able to utilize all of these veteran tactics. You know, I know he's, he's only like 26, I'm 33, but the wisdom that I have is far superior than what he's coming into the ring with. So I believe that that's going to allow me to show him that Keith Thurman, you know, no matter how long I've been out of the ring, it's not an easy picking. Keith, thank you so much for your time, man. We wish you the best and more than anything to finish that fight healthy and safe. Take care, man. Thank and you. Good luck on that fight, bro. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the love and support. Take care, man.